So hi everyone. Today we have a special guest on our channel. We have Prajwal with us. So Prajwal, would you like to introduce yourself? Sure. Uh, myself Prajwal Shah. I'm from Alton College of Engineering, Sangli. Currently, I'm in intern at Packend Internet Cred. That's right, it. right. Yes. So he has cracked recently yeah. intern plus PPO at Cred, an amazing product based company. So we're going to know about his journey, how he prepared. his interview experience and basically how he ended up cracking cred so prajul start us off with your interview experience what all happened how did you apply okay so actually uh, like from 3 years codeshef on codeshef platform cred has been conducting its first online test so basically what uh, cred does it sponsors a codeshef contest and uh, top participants uh, from that contest uh, according to the rank of post contest uh, they pick them up for the next round so like a week ago the contest uh, we got the news ki cred is sponsoring the contest uh, yeah they sponsored the contest uh, we registered for the contest i got an air 78 in the contest uh, it nice. was pretty good then uh, like after a week i got an mail saying ki prajwal if you are interested we have shortlisted you for the next round uh, in the for the next round it was a machine coding round where uh, lo- we were to perform some low level designs uh, given the task so basically they uh, they, uh, they asked us to design a file system completely based uh, using some data structures in java they actually gave freedom to use java c++ python the prompt statement was same the language was different and uh, the platform was hacker rank so you can choose whatever problem uh, uh, language you want you download the problem statement to download the repository you code it and submit the github link back to hacker uh, hacker rank and based on that they will judge you okay so all of my test cases passed they gave a uh, window of 3 hours my all test cases passed in around 30 minutes starting of the uh, round itself so i was quite confident about that round again 3 to 4 days later i got a call saying uh, the interviews uh, i've been scheduled to schedule for you there were two interviews the first interview was completely dsa based so during the entire interview of 1.5 hours uh, they asked me four different dsa questions in, in increasing difficulty order and after these uh, four dsa questions were over there was uh, like about me uh, questions about which were about me and over to uh, like on the next day there was the second interview uh, which was on elimination basis because i got a call in the evening i've been shortlisted for the second round as well and you the interview is scheduled for the next day the, the second round was more like hmhr round where uh, i was about what i know about cred why am i going to cred and my previous internship experience here the previous internship experience was very important i had my past experience in deutsche bank uh, i was able to explain uh, to them what there and all so it had a positive impact over there so this was yeah. it, it again 3 to 4 days, days later i got a call that huh. i got listed for uh, cred internship plus pp mm-hmm. nice man nice so basically first round was the coach of contest yes. second was the machine coding and then two dsa interviews right. were there right, right. all right so uh, i just want to know more details about some of the rounds so starting from the coach of round can you tell me what type of problems were there or what was the range of problems you needed to do to get shortlisted yeah so like the coach of contest was uh, the same difficulty of the other course of contest so if you are a regular course of contest okay regular course of ha so if you solve regularly uh, you might know but the one important thing there was ki i uh, saw the pattern that for past two years they have only short short mm-hmm. students from d1 and d2 okay okay so mm-hmm. what they prefer they what they do they p- start from d1 all the registered participants mm-hmm. they start picking up uh, of rank wise after that they go to different hmm. they start picking up rank wise as well so make sure you hmm. are like a good course of participant you have given a lot of contest you have pushed your rank and are ready for the day hmm right 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 so basically if someone is performing good in coach of contest then they have a yeah. good chance in getting shortlisted here as well right next round yes while watching this video a lot of you guys would be thinking how can you crack a company like cred and i know for a lot of you guys the biggest blocker is getting interview calls you're unable to find opportunities due to which you keep falling behind and you're unable to grab anything well a great way to grab opportunity is by getting a referral and i know you will be having trouble in getting referral as well but topmate has made it extremely easy for you in getting referral all you need to do is go to the link in the description click it you'll go to topmate's page and then you'll be able to find a section for referral go to that whatever job you want pick from linkedin 
pick the job url paste it here and topmate will automatically connect you with all of the people who will be able to refer you for that role go to their profile book the referral which will be for free and easily get the referral for whatever role you want in all of the top companies like google amazon microsoft whichever company you want so go click the link in the description check this feature out right now and start applying to your dream company and now let's get back to the video <laughs> nice nice and uh, about the dsa rounds you said like four problems were asked i think in the dsa interview so can you tell us what were they like or what was the type of problem difficulty so the first problem was introductory or very easy problem on binary search uh, the second problem was on dsu if i am to talk about the difficulty it would be lit code medium only it won't be hard or if i am to say in code forces code shift style so it was 400 1400 1600 rated code shift or code forces problem okay uh, the third problem was dynamic programming problem uh, which was also a lit code medium to hard problem not very hard and fourth was on uh, graphs which was a lit code hard problem Hmm. Okay, so last two were at least medium hard, right? Yes. Hmm. 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 Nice. 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 So pretty much as I can see from the interviews, and even I've heard from other places, you know, Cred has good DSA rounds. You know, they ask high level DSA, and you need to be good at DSA basically to crack them. So I'd like to know more about your DSA journey. You know, and you're also sitting with a lead code T-shirt. So I'm, you know, boldly assuming you have a, um, you know, generously assuming you have a good DSA background. You're good at DSA. You cracked all the rounds. You got AIR and hundred around in, you know, the coach of contest as well. So tell us about your DSA journey. You know, right from the beginning, how did you get started in DSA and then eventually, you know, improved in DSA? How was it for you? So like uh, to be honest we have pretty good culture dsa culture in our uh, campus itself so i started mm. uh, uh, from code chef only uh, back in my second the first first semester of my second year okay so mm. i started with code chef i got the interest as then i started doing lit code as well uh, then code forces i became expert mm. on code forces five star on code chef nice right nice code. so it started uh, things started falling in place then i was very much interested in icpc we went to icpc hmm. so like we got an ar of 26 in regionals so oh nice uh, so that was uh, like i was much into competitive programming since my second year only so the uh, or any company this was not a major issue for me uh, ever because i was preparing for this these things uh, since long ago like since my second year so it was still thing secondly i have seen many people what they usually do they go behind solving more problems on lit code or any other platform you like i one should not focus on solving more problems rather they should focus on learning new concepts and applying them because no matter how many problems you solve if if you if you are got gotten a new problem and you don't know which concepts uh, to apply there then it's not useful no, no one is going to see that you solve Those are problems, and should, that's why I should hire you. No one's gonna do that. Hmm. Correct. Correct. So you know, I know I'm contradicting the fact that you said, and I don't want to promote solving a large number of problems, but I just want to know how many problems have you solved? Only. Like number of problems. A total, you can say, quote, chef, quote, for the around a range. If I like, if we sum it up, it's more than three thousand. Uh, lead code about twelve hundred. Uh, quote, chef, quote, for this, a same range. but again that was not because i uh, i was solve i wanted to solve these many problems i was just practicing and practicing and it just kept on increasing hmm nice 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 you know let's uh, talk more about dsa you know in dsa we see a lot of pro- people uh, do problems but they have uh, issues you know in uh, progressing basically the easier problems people are able to do but as soon as you go to medium problems or some of the difficult topics like you have dp and graph mm-hmm. they start getting issues especially in new problems you know when they come across problems they've already done they're able to solve it but a company like cred asks new problems right okay. so any suggestions you'll have for those people okay so firstly make sure you have solved a variety of problems let let's talk about dp for a moment okay so let's say you are solving a dynamic programming problem it's not just about a particular Uh, like problem there you just need to feel it ki why exactly we are applying dynamic programming here and understand the basic concepts first because there are many forms in which you can use dynamic programming for a particular problem 
so you need to understand ki why exactly i am doing this here why this step why this transition why this state so once you start to understand the tra- states and transition once you start to understand the core of the concept then it becomes very easy for you then no matter how new the problem is you can figure out the states you can figure out the transitions and you can uh, write it deep hmm. correct i guess having a like you know good basics or a good fundamental is very important right. rather than just you know sol- solving a lot of problems all right so you know enough about dsa you said system design was also there that will vary a lot of freshers you know because freshers generally don't prepare system design they only prepare dsa so in brief any resources or any specific preparation you did for mach- uh, this machine coding system design not any specific for this round at search but i was uh, reading a bit books different books about high level and low level designs they definitely helped me a lot for example knowing about the solid principles or good co- uh, coding practices so because at this stage of your life when you are uh, like graduating you are not that experienced in the industry they do not expect you to know very high concepts about design but you should have at least the basic understanding you should have a good coding sense you should not uh, use some variables name which do not mean anything you should not write all the code in one single space so team coding is very important so basically you should know the basic uh, fundamentals of uh, system design only Hmm. Correct, correct. But DSA will be extremely important. Even if system design is not that, DSA you'll hundred percent need to do. Yeah. Whether you go for cred, whether you go for fang company, you right? Off campus company uh, or fang companies, you try DSA is the must. Yeah. Hmm. DSA is extremely important. Right, right. So you know, on a final note, to all of the people who are watching this video, who are also hopeful in cracking a company like cred or even a fang company. what advice would you like to give them i would say be consistent do not target specific company from the very beginning of your journey just focus on learning new things focus on pro- making stronger your dsa have good projects on your resume and once uh, you are prepared uh, they will they are going to hire you because they need you more than you need them like they need they need good employees in their company so just make yourself capable uh, capable enough to get, get them to you because uh, in your yeah you will have many opportunities uh, even on campus off campus both the things you should just be ready to grab it that hmm. right a lot of people just keep worrying about rejection or keep worrying about where to find the opportunity and they never do the preparation you know i really like what you said you know that the company needs you more than you need the company so it's like the company is not there to reject you the company is there to select you you know they basically need you. you need to have that type of mindset and with that mindset and with enough preparation 110 person you'll be able to land your dream job and your dream Definitely. job ha uh, so that's a wonderful advice right there okay so i guess that pretty much covers everything about prajwal's journey on cracking cred thanks a lot prajwal for coming on my channel and uh, if anyone still has any doubt or they want to connect with prajwal then i'll give his linkedin in the description uh, you guys can follow him from there and connect with him from there So yeah again Prajwal thanks a lot for coming thank you so much so much for inviting me yeah.